place today I'm going to show you how to create your very own light bulb. Here's what you're going to need. I have an aluminum pan, you can use aluminum foil, would be fine too. I have a piece of PVC pipe, um, you could also use a toilet paper roll. Got some graphite for a lead pencil. Tape, electrical tape and scotch tape. Two alligator clips. Hot glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. D batteries taped together to make one big battery. Step one, we're gonna hot glue our pipe down onto our pan. We are gonna take our alligator clips and we are going to tape them to the side of the pipe. We're gonna take one piece of graphite and clamp it on our alligator clips carefully so we don't break it. Going to take your alligator clips and touch them to the negative and the positive ends of the battery to make your circuit. And you've got light. Is happening. We have a chemical reaction, an oxidation reduction reaction taking place in our battery, which is going to move electrons through a circuit. If you give those electrons somewhere to go, i.e., my alligator clips, and I set up a circuit, voila. And why is this lighting up? So, what I have here is I have a piece of graphite here. And as those electrons are moving through the, the graphite, it's heating it up and it's moving the electrons around within that graphite, which is gonna release photons as light. This is almost the exact same thing that's taking place in a real incandescent light bulb, except instead of a graphite, which is gonna burn out very quickly, they use tungsten, which has a nice high melting point. It's also a resistor. So as those electrons are flowing through these nice wires that they love to flow through, it'll hit that resistor, slow down, create some energy, create some light, and boom, you have your light bulb.